Well, President Biden's approval rating dropping among Democrats, and it's even gotten rockier with overall Americans dissatisfied with his handling of the country. And we'll bring in our panel to discuss Doug Schoen. He's one of the most influential Democratic campaign consultants of the past half century. He's also the author of the new book, America, Unite or Die, How to Save Our Democracy. Also joining us, political commentator Ian Haworth. So, Doug, we'll start with you. Uh, we'll sure. take a look at this uh, Nork Associated Press poll showing an increase in Democrats disapproving uh, this administration. It was at 22 percent in January 2021. Now it's more than doubled to 78 percent. What do you make of this? Well, look, it's hard to look at the country in any objective way and not be dissatisfied. I'm a Democrat, but I'm not a progressive. I'm not a believer in redistribution. And I'm certainly not a believer in using politics to create a liberal order. I believe you use politics to improve people's quality of life on the broadest possible scale possible. Biden, as your graphic suggested, is governing to the left. It's not working. Inflation is up at the gas pumps, the grocery stores. Internationally, we are less credible than we've ever been before. Sadly, this is a government that is getting widespread across the board disapproval. And actor John Voigt, he's a former Democrat. He's even calling for President Biden to be impeached, citing safety concerns. This is what he said. We must protect this nation and bring back safety. We're all feeling very unsafe. It starts with the seat of the president of the United States. He has wronged this nation's glory. He has taken down our morals, our true gift of the land of the free. He must be impeached. We cannot wait another second having him dictate our path. Ian, let's get your take on this. Yeah, I mean, I think there are certainly arguments in favor of impeachment, but I'd like to focus on elections. I think that's how we actually change the game here. I think getting Republicans in in 2022 and taking back the House and the Senate would be a massive first step, and then taking back the White House in 2024. Biden has obviously been a demonstrable failure. I mean, just look inside everyone's wallet and you'll see the answer to that question. So it's unsurprising that his popularity continues to plummet. But I'd rather look at long-term solutions rather than this almost tit-for-tat impeachment game, because then the next time a Republican comes in, they'll be president to impeach him. I'd rather focus on long-term solutions here. Now, President Trump could be planning to announce his 2024 bid for the White House. If there is a red wave come November, Doug, uh, what does this mean for President Trump? Do you think that he will be uh, the front runner for this nomination come 2024? Or do you think the talks of Ron DeSantis uh, have some credibility there in that sense? Yeah, I, I think right now, as we speak, Donald Trump is the front runner. Obviously, there were some very disquieting and discouraging uh, revelations last week that I think raised questions in everybody's mind, regardless of politics. And I think DeSantis is a very strong candidate, uh, given his performance in the recent polling out of New Hampshire. That being said, I think Ian's point deserves underscoring as a Democrat. I don't believe if you're dissatisfied, you impeach. We change governments with elections. Let's get through the midterm and then go to the presidential and do it the American way, which is through elections and vigorous competition at the polls, not, not trying to turn our country into something that is very different than what we all grew up with. And Ian, how do you think 2024 is going to play out yourself? I think it all hinges on who the Republicans nominate. I think if Donald Trump is the nominee, which polls suggest he will likely be if he decides to run, I think the Republicans will lose again. I think people are losing sight of the fact that people hate Trump so much they are willing to ignore the reality that's right on the end of their nose. And I think it will be a dream for Democrats if they nominate Trump because they can just run 2020 all over again. And so if we move with someone like Ron DeSantis or just another Republican who has a lot of Trump's strengths and none of his weaknesses, at least historical weaknesses, I think Republicans are obviously going to win. Honestly, I think Trump is the one stumbling block we could find in 2024. Ian Hallworth and Doug Schoen, great panel. Happy Independence Day. Thanks for being here today. Same to you. Thank you.